This is Pangna, one of Thailand's least visited provinces. But this is Issa Pangna, one of Thailand's most visited provinces. But why? Because you can go and visit Hong Island, Panak Island and the most famous James Bond Island. Dum, 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 dum. And it's probably one of the most popular tours that you can do here in Thailand. But why is nobody coming here to the inland of Pangna, where we are at right now? So we're going to go and explore inland Pangna and find out what is here and what can you actually do in Pangna, Thailand? All right, so it's a new morning and we're gonna go to some Met Nang Shi, which is probably one of the most beautiful viewpoints here in Pangna. So quite excited for this. So in order to go up to the top, you have to park your bike and then take a bucky in order to go to the top. Wow, this is one hell of a ride. You just gotta hold on, hey? <laughs> Are you trying to keep everything together, baby? Yeah, but she gets like falling everywhere. They're trying to keep the camera still is not making this easy. <laughs> oh yeah, we have another one coming past us. Oh wow, look at that. Look at this! Look at the hill! Wow, the view from here is amazing already. I think we've kind of made it in one piece. <laughs> so apparently this is one of the most beautiful viewpoints in all of Thailand. And I guess we had to see if that is true. So far from what I've seen on the ride here, I can already believe that. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yep, this is probably true. <laughs> We are probably busy looking at, I'd say easily, close to like a hundred mountain tops, all individual mountain tops and these little islands that are sticking out, it's just gorgeous. I can imagine what it must look like here during sunset and sunrise, 100% <laughs> worth the wake up. But this place is really beautiful. So they even have places over here that you can stay at. Did not know that, otherwise we probably would have stayed here so we could actually witness the sunrise. Our guide said that it's about 700 baht a night. I haven't seen inside the accommodation but it would be great to have stayed here. They have so many amazing photograph spots. But Leanne has gotten into this thing. Instagram versus reality. <laughs> okay, come on, get out, get out. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to do this. Grab oh, my hand. Don't fall. Just hold my finger. Thank you. Does that work? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what we've seen so far is that Pangna has beautiful mountains and is surrounded by a lot of temples. We have come to Wat Rat Upatam, I hope I have said that properly, which is on the beautiful hillside of the Koilan Mountains in the Taput area of Pangna. Oh my word, you have to see the view from here. <laughs> what? But if you can see behind me, there are just gorgeous views as we approach our first destination. So this temple is made out of several structures. In front of me, we have the main temple, which has got a bell-shaped pangodia. But the pangodia, which is this Asian-styled tower, is surrounded by all of these beautiful gold Buddhas. And the entire temple is just so pretty. Look at these doors. They're just completely golden, hey? Do you think it's real gold? I don't think so, no. I think it's just gold paint, but it just it's just so beautiful, like the brightness of the gold against the brightness of the red. And the detail of the doors. Hey? So much detail. I can't believe how much detail they have in all these temples. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to go inside the temple. It would be cool though. Wow, I'm catching a glimpse of inside this temple. Oh, it looks so, so cool. I hope we're going to be able to go inside. Come look at this. Come look at this. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. There's just a small peek of what I can see. The door is right here. So let's see if we can get inside. So because I'm wearing short pants, I need a trouser in order to cover my knees. Even the roosters are cheering me on. Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> so Danny paid 20 baht to get the trouser and then it is 40 baht per ticket to go inside. And we have had to leave our shoes at the bottom. Wow, I've never been in a temple before. Neither have I, it's stunning. It's just like gold and white everywhere. And marble, like the floors here are marble. And then, like we saw in the big Buddha, there are so many little Buddhas around and they got little donation boxes in front of them again. But this is incredibly beautiful. Look at all the little detail, like it is so intricate. And 
now that we're inside the temple, I'm wondering if we can get further inside this temple. And I'm not sure if we're actually allowed to speak loud or not. Do you think we're allowed to speak loud? I don't know. I feel bad speaking loud. I, I feel like it's disrespectful. Definitely. So just mind if our voices are quite <laughs> soft. But walking around here, yeah, it's just... It's I don't know, it's just so quiet. Yeah. It's so peaceful. It's Everything around you is so beautiful. It looks like we can go up these stairs into the middle of the temple. It's going to be so cool. This temple is absolutely gorgeous. I do not know why people are not coming here. Wow. The detail. They even have paintings on the wall. This is literally paint. And look how big the painting is. And it's all around. This is absolutely crazy. The amount of detail that goes into building these things. I can't imagine how long it must take. I could think a temple like this must take about 15 years to build. And it looks like these places are so well maintained. There was a lady that was downstairs just fixing a few things on some of these statues. And it looks like an art of its own. So now we are going to head to the other part which is the goddess princess as well as the other golden buddha which is surrounded by the serpent heads unfortunately the princess is still under construction so we're going to go to the other buddha that has got the serpent heads wow this looks incredible that's massive <laughs> i think we've said that about all of the statues around here but this is incredibly big yeah that is huge <laughs> I'm wondering why do they build these statues so big? Like this one is incredibly big. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this already, hey? Oh my goodness, this hill is so steep. Yo, look how steep this is. Red machine, come on, you can do it. It looks like this car park is empty and we have this whole thing to ourselves. As you can see, we literally the only people in this parking lot oh this place is beautiful so we've just come down from the mountain and we're still part of the temple complex and we're here and it looks like there is like a snake or a serpent type figure that has been shaped in this boat and in this boat is this beautiful temple and around it is like a little moat so we're walking over the bridge here but it looks like all these temples are fenced up we can't get into them which i completely understand but just to be so close to these things are already like wow it looks like there is a latch there that isn't locked but i don't want to open it up and just go and intrude so i'll just admire it from a distance oh so it looks like one of the temples are actually open so i think we might be able to go inside and actually have a little bit of a look oh wow there's a huge gold buddha here it looks like a buddha temple it's like a little hall where i think people can come and pray and then like in front of the hall is this golden buddha statue it doesn't look like many people actually come to pray over here as it's kind of still a little bit dusty so it's maybe not a lot of tourists or maybe not a lot of people that are actually busy using this temple so this is actually the windows to the temple how beautiful is that they don't even use glass it's just pure wooden doors that are carved but it's just beautiful the red on the white just stands out amongst the nature so generally as a tourist you'd always think to go to the beach destinations right but sometimes coming towards nature and temples like this just gives you a completely different feel this place looks completely deserted i think there's actually a cave here i don't know if there's going to be snakes or spiders 